So a new situation developed with my old furnace. If I turn on heat, it will click. And the furnace at the gas file actually kicks on right now. But as you can see, the fan does not kick on. So I have to override it by manually turning on the fan. So since uh, the blower doesn't come on um, at the low speed, so if I trace back you can see that um, it goes into this double pull, double throw contactor relay right here. So from 2 to 1 it should be normally closed. It goes up this black wire that shorts it across and 4 and 5 is normally closed. So when I go back over here to this jumble of wire you can see the contactor right there. This is this black wire that we see right here that is the jumper across. Uh, first of all, power is off and plug the power. I'm just going to remove this real quick. So I have it on ohms right now four and five short one and two short so I know it's not that relay right there I know those two are working so it's either <clears throat> the fan on low speed doesn't work or if I go up here to this uh, fan limit switch uh, that might be the problem so far that's what I'm going to isolate it down to so the easiest way is for me to close up the panel and then just go ahead and measure to see if I have 115 volts AC right here to go to a low speed. If I do have 115 volt AC right here that goes to a low speed, then I know this is good. But if I don't even have 115 volts right here, I can pretty much isolate down to that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. On these older AC units, there's a uh, limit control switch that uh, checks for the uh, fan. It controls the fan speed when it's on auto and when to turn off, when to shut down, and also when to shut down the, the gas valve uh, once you have it on all, uh, the blower set on auto. That's when it gets too hot, it shuts it off. And right here, this, uh, the gray and black. That's the 120 volt AC that goes to the uh, fan motor, red wire right here. Wire that you see right here, this is the 24 volt AC. Controls the gas valve once uh, uh, this limit switch hits uh, 200 degrees, it shuts off the gas valve. So as you see I connected the white, I mean the jumper between white and red. Let's go over here, you can hear that the furnace is kicking on and it should be turning as the temperature rises. But as you can see it's not moving at all and the fan motor of course isn't coming on. So I now know that that's a possible that's a possibility that it's bad. Since I now know that this uh, unit right here is damaged, I'm going to uh, remove it. And to do so, um, there's these little uh, things that you push down so you can detach the wire. Put it down again, remove the second wire. So I just push this down, pull out the wire. Okay, so I have all four wires to attach. I'm going to take out the three screws.
here's the uh, fan limit control um, so as you can see this long part goes into the furnace chamber and the heat will make this coil contract and when it does that it turns this knob right here and on each side there's a switch so you can see that the temperature right here says 50 the, the first uh, knob right here the first uh, indicator right here is around 70 degrees the second indicator right here is around 110 degrees so these two right here these two indicators right here control this side the fan side uh, which is typically uh, 120 volts AC uh, so as it gets hotter and hotter it clicks when it clicks the fan comes back on and then it slowly supposedly uh, decreases temperature and then the fan turns off and when it turns off the chamber gets hot again and then it increases again then the fan comes on back and forth but if the fan fails the temperature will keep on increasing then this side of the switch will click when this side of the switch clicks it turns off the uh, the gas valve completely valve. so that's the whole mechanism of this and uh, so this is a broken one from upstairs um, the reason why it's broken actually the mechanism still work but what happened is that this thing doesn't turn smoothly anymore instead of sm s slowly smooth a smooth rotation it's more of a jagged rotation alright I got some hot water right here it's about 115 degrees Fahrenheit and cold water is about 70 degrees so as you can see I'm going to put this in the hot water and as you can see it it turned it rotated but it didn't rotate enough to click supposedly it would click like that and you can see now it's a short the fan kicks on and then I put it in the cold water you can see it turns down it rotated a little bit it's supposed to click and now it goes open I went online bought a brand new one right here it cost me about uh, how much did it cost? Oh, it costs, including shipping, cost $75. When I install this, I would like to uh, set these two diodes, dials right here. So it has it on about 70-ish uh, degrees when it cuts off and it comes on at 110. Uh, the rule of thumb is that you want this angle right here to be about 30 degrees difference one thing to pay attention is that the fan side and the gas limit side these two sides uh, sometimes they're shorted in the middle as you can see those two plates right here and right here they're shorted in the middle with this contact that you stick in between because uh, sometimes instead of killing the gas the 24 uh, volts that goes to AC that goes to the gas sometimes you can just kill a transformer and it serves the same purpose so um, for my purpose I want this to be isolated from this contact to be isolated from that contact so it's opened in the middle so here's the new uh, fan control limit switch uh, I'm just trying to feed these old wires all right, I got the wires through. I'm gonna put one screw in here so I can hold this down. So let's put in the first wire. Down this metal plate so you can insert the wire. Finally, last wire. So here we go. I'm going to turn on the heater right now. 
So the furnace kicked on. You can hear that the fan just kicked on. So there you go, it's fixed.